A lot of people dream about breaking into cybersecurity, but the truth is, most of them give up before they even get started. And it's not because they aren't smart enough, it's because they fall into three common traps that stop their progress before they can even build momentum. If you are serious about starting your cybersecurity career, this video could save you a lot of time and frustration. If this is your first time seeing my video, hello, my name is Steven, and I've been in the cybersecurity industry for about nine years now within the security operations domain. On this channel, you'll find various videos about career guidance, lab walkthroughs, and SOC related projects that you can tackle and put onto your portfolio. Over the years, I've seen so many beginners get stuck trying to get into cybersecurity, not because they weren't capable, but because nobody showed them how to avoid these early mistakes. Today, I am going to walk you through on what they are, but more importantly, how you can avoid them and move forward with confidence. Mistake number one is a lack of consistency. The first mistake is inconsistency. A lot of people start with a lot of excitement. They binge watch a bunch of tutorials or cram for hours in one day, then take long breaks. When they come back, they feel extremely overwhelmed, forget what they learned, and then start all over again. Now, the problem isn't a lack of motivation. Instead, it's a lack of routine. Without consistency, it's almost impossible to build real momentum. Here is what worked for me. Set a small daily goal, even just 30 minutes a day. Small consistent effort really does compound over time and builds real lasting skills. You do want to think about it like getting in shape. You don't get fit by working out once a month. Instead, you get fit by showing up consistently, even when it's just a short session. Learning cybersecurity works exactly the same way. Mistake number two is chasing shiny objects. The second mistake is chasing too many things at once. One day it is SOC analyst work, the next day it's ethical hacking, the week after it's cloud security. It feels exciting to explore new areas, but constantly switching paths will keep you stuck at the beginner level. Instead, you wanna pick one focus area, maybe it's security operations, maybe it's penetration testing, maybe it's cloud security. Whatever you choose, do commit to it long enough so you can build a strong foundation. Imagine trying to plant a garden. You do plant one seed, then a week later, you dig it up and plant another one. Then the week after that, you dig that one up too. Now, nothing will ever have time to grow if you choose to do it that way. And building a career in cybersecurity is pretty similar. You need to stick with one learning path long enough so you let your skills take root and start growing. Mistake number three is taking shortcuts instead of building skills. The third and final mistake is looking for shortcuts instead of building real world skills. Some people rush through certifications, they memorize answers, or they watch a ton of videos without ever practicing hands-on. Now, while certifications can definitely open doors, hands-on practical skills are what will set you apart from hundreds of other applicants. Hiring managers want people who can actually solve problems, not just pass exams. So if you want to stand out, you do want to focus on building real skills. Maybe set up a small home lab, practice analyzing real threats, work through real world projects, document your work and build up a portfolio that you can share. If you aren't sure where to start, I do have a dedicated project playlist on my channel that will help you if your goal is to become a SOC analyst. If you think about it, taking shortcuts instead of building skills is like trying to become a chef without ever touching a stove. You might memorize recipes, you might watch cooking shows all day, but when it's time to cook a real meal, you might not know what to do. Reading and studying will help, but nothing replaces real hands-on experience. To recap, you wanna stay consistent. Even small daily actions will move you forward. You want to stay focused. Choose one path and give yourself permission to stick with it. And most importantly, you want to build real skills. Certifications are indeed valuable, but hands-on experience is what will truly set you apart. If you are serious about starting your cybersecurity journey, especially as a SOC analyst, take a look into my other videos if you haven't done so already. I am quite confident that the videos I have on my channel will help you build up your skills and move forward faster. You have everything you need to succeed. Now, it's just about taking the right steps one day at a time. That is it for the video and I hope that you found that informative. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.
Remember to stay curious and do things differently.